My name is Conor Fadgen and I'm the National Governance Officer with Badminton Ireland. Today's video will look at the Child Risk Assessment and Safeguarding Statement. So these documents are applicable to member organisations in the Republic of Ireland in terms of complying with the Children First Act. It is a form of best practice which can be adopted by clubs in Northern Ireland as well, but it is not a legal requirement in that jurisdiction. The Child Risk Assessment outlines any potential risks that could be within a sports club setting which could put a child at risk of harm. When completing the, the risk assessment, it is important to follow one, identify potential risks, so who, what might cause harm to a child and who is involved in the process. The second step is ranking each risk, so identifying whether it's a low, medium or high risk and also looking at the likelihood of that risk occurring and the consequences of the risk as well. Third step is controlling and managing the risks, assigning people who actually own the risk and who is responsible for maintaining a safe environment for the child with regards to that particular action. And the fourth step then is monitoring and reviewing. So are the controls and are the actions effective in terms of what your club is trying to implement? Once the child risk assessment has been completed, organisations are required to develop a child safeguarding statement. This statement would outline how the risks identified in the child risk assessment will be managed. The document should be made visible at your venue of play. These documents should be reviewed at the start of every badminton season. If you need any assistance with either your child risk assessment or your child safeguarding statement, please get in touch with me on my contact details to follow. Thanks for your time. I hope you tune in next time for the next video in our series.